Put on your hats and saddle up your horses because we're going to take a ride into the captivating story of Four Sixes Ranch. And we promise that if you finish this video, you will know a lot of new updates about the new Yellowstone spin-offs. We're going to tell you a story about the heart-stopping universe of Yellowstone, a place so full of cowboys, tough guys, and family tales that your eyes will be locked onto your screens. You might already know about the earlier stories of 1883 and 1923. These two side stories take us on a magical trip through the deep and stormy past of the Dutton family. But today, our journey is going to center on the irresistible charm of a fresh side story that'll have you on the edge of your seat, the powerful Four Sixes. We're going to unravel the mystery behind the name Four Sixes, the storyline, the stars, when it's coming out, how many episodes there will be, and so much more. So keep watching everything we know about Yellowstone Quadruple Six. What does Four Sixes mean? Before we talk about it, let's make it clear that it is official. The Four Sixes will carry the Mother Series' name, Yellowstone Four Sixes. So Four Sixes begins in 1870. According to an old story, Samuel Burnett is the guy who won the ranch in a card game, thanks to an unbeatable hand of Four Sixes. But his family name tells a different story. And they claim the ranch got its name when Burnett cleverly marked his first bunch of cows with 6666 ranch with 266,000 acres. And just to make sure we're on the same page, it's four sixes, not 6666 or 6666. Got it? Good. Now, in 1922, Burnett died leaving the ranch to the future generations, and in the end, it falls into the hands of his great-granddaughter, Anne Winfor Marion. Now, Anne Winfor Marion is a character so larger than life, and she could have leapt right out of a Taylor Sheridan script. With a Wikipedia page that practically shouts, I'm more awesome than you, Anne was a tough-as-nails cowgirl and business leader who ran the Burnett Oil Company. She even started up the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Anne's talent and hard work landed her in the Hall of Great Westerners of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum and the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. She tied the knot four times and owned seven houses and one of them is a fancy mansion in Fort Worth and another stylish apartment on Fifth Avenue in New York. Anne's life was the stuff of cowboy tales. She even popped up on Forbes' billionaires list a few times with a cool net worth of $1.1 billion in 2006. So... Could there be a character based on Anne in Four Sixes? What do you think about it? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And after that, keep watching because you won't believe what we're going to tell you next. Because Taylor Sheridan buys the Four Sixes Ranch. In 2020, Anne Winfor Marion passed away and her final wish is to find a new owner for this vast land, asking $347.7 million for the three ranch properties spread across lands near Lubbock, Amarillo, and the Texas Panhandle. In a chat with the Texas Spur broker Chaz S. Middleton, revealed that Sheridan is the face of the buyer group. Middleton also noted that the new owners plan to keep the ranch in operation, safeguarding jobs for all current employees. It's all one deal, 266,000 acres with all three ranches, cattle, horses, equipment, furniture, brand, name, everything he shared. Sheridan himself, though not speaking directly about the purchase when approached by the Texas Spur, expressed his admiration for the Texan ranching industry and hinted at featuring the land in his hit TV series. I can't comment on a pending transaction, but I will say this. The legacy of the Four Sixes Ranch and Miss Marion's vision for the ranch are critical, not just to the ranch itself, but the rich history of ranching in Texas. He went on to say, This legacy matters so much to me that I choose to spotlight it in the upcoming season of Yellowstone and will continue to promote its legacy and maintain its operations in a way that respects that great vision. The story of Yellowstone for Sixes. Do you remember when our well-meaning but often lost ranch worker Jimmy, played by Jefferson White, was sent there to pull himself together? Or when the man himself, John Dutton, Kevin Costner, thought about sending his cows to the ranch and Beth, Kelly Riley, got really excited about selling Yellowstone branded beef? Four Sixes isn't just a creation of Yellowstone's storyline. It's a real spin-off series and it's coming up fast like a thunderstorm. Let's look at what the Paramount folks say about this exciting cowboy paradise. They tell us this ranch was started when the Comanche tribe was the main power in the wild west of Texas. And the story of this ranch was as deep as a big old oak tree, and it is a part of the story of the American West. So what's in store for us in this enchanting series? Well, 
Imagine a place where the law and nature meet, where danger is always nearby, and every new challenge is the biggest one yet. Four Sixes Ranch is where the best cowboys are shaped by the hardest of times. And it's also where you will find some of the best horses and farm animals you've ever seen. The cowboys here never stop working hard to be the best, aiming to leave behind a legacy of unmatched cowboy greatness. Who will be the cast of Four Sixes? Whispers are going around that Jefferson White, whom we know as Jimmy, and Ryan Bingham, the guy behind Walker, might be joining the action. Well, you better not get too excited right away, but there might be a bit of truth here. Remember when Jimmy broke his promise to never rodeo again? That brought him back to Yellowstone, but it wasn't all fun and games. To help our lost cowboy, John, played by Kevin Costner, sent him off to West Texas to Four Sixes Ranch. But wait a minute. Before Jimmy could ride off into the wild blue yonder with Travis, Taylor Sheridan, Walker stepped in with some wise words. You're about to meet the best cowboys around, buddy. No showing off, no silly stuff, no fighting over land, just a whole lot of cowboy heaven. It's like God hit the pause button and said, this place is just right. Walker told Jimmy to enjoy his time there and warned him that it might be hard to come back. And he reminded him to work on his Spanish. You might be thinking, will Walker join Jimmy at the sixes? Well, slow down. Walker's on parole and has to check in every few weeks, so it's not possible. With a sad heart and lots of thoughts, Jimmy rode off. But in the last episode of Yellowstone's fourth season, Jimmy came back with new skills and a new fiance, Emily, played by Katherine Kelly. Remember when Mia, the wonderful Eden Brolin, saw Jimmy and Emily all snuggled up in the bunker house? That sure caused some drama. But after things calmed down, our cowboy Jimmy had a chat with Lloyd, 4 J. Smith, he shared his Texas revelation. In Texas, there are no fights over land. It's just cows and cowboys, as far as you can see. Ah, Walker's wise words still hold true. With lots of feelings in the air, Jimmy and Emily headed back to the sixes, but not before getting John's okay, of course. So what's it all mean? Your guess is <laughs> as good as ours. Leave us a comment below with your thoughts. It looks like Jimmy's next big adventure is about to start. And who knows, once Walker's parole is over, he might think about coming along for a good old-fashioned cowboy get-together. How many episodes will Yellowstone 4 Sixes have? 4 Sixes is possible to have 10 episodes like Yellowstone and 1883, and also it's possible that they will capture our hearts with just 8 episodes like 1923. Well, all we can do is stay tuned to see. Why is 4 Sixes different from 1883 and 1923? The top reason, my friends, is that 4 Sixes will share the famous Yellowstone title, and the second reason is that this offshoot unfolds simultaneously with Yellowstone. And that's the long and short of it. And now let's delve into where to watch 4 Sixes. The captivating Yellowstone 4 Sixes will join its mother's show, Yellowstone on the Paramount Network. Meanwhile, its other fascinating relatives, 1883, 1923, and the upcoming 1883, The Bass Reeves Story, are holding court only on Paramount+. Plus. Now, if you're itching to relive the past, you can catch up with the old seasons of Yellowstone on Peacock. But be warned, because Four Sixes might take a detour and land on Paramount+, Plus after it first shows on Paramount Network. So, stay alert, partner, because things are about to get a whole heap lot more exciting any moment from now. And there you have it, cowboys and cowgirls, cow people. We've gathered all the information we could on the intriguing and mysterious world of Yellowstone 4 Sixes. Don't forget to drop a comment with your thoughts and guesses on what might happen at the famous 4 Sixes Ranch. Until we meet again, cowboys, enjoy the journey and keep the spirit of the wild, wild west 